Friends and Anemones, a collection of ocean poems for children, written and illustrated by members of the Writer's Loft, Sherburn, Massachusetts. Balloon Fish. A ratty-tatty old balloon adrift upon the sea looks rather like a tasty snack to turtles such as me. Next time you throw a birthday bash, I have a little wish. Instead of blowing up balloons, try hanging jellyfish. Can you hear silence? A wave arrives, rises, surges, peaks, swirling frosted white caps burst, crashing on scattering sand. A pause. That moment, the brimming silence between roars, like a deep, low breath. A new wave rises, surges, peaks, scatters, breathes. Petty Penguin. Petty Penguin preened her plumes. She'd freed herself at last. Trapped beneath a sheet of ice, at least a day had passed. None of Petty Penguin's pals had come to aid their friend. So Petty Penguin made a plan to get some sweet revenge. Later on, the Penguin friends drank tea at half past two. But Petty Penguin swapped the milk with guano. Penguin poo! Shark and Remora. One is large, one is small. One hunts for food, one not at all. One provides safe transportation. One's a constant cleaning station. One on top, one down below, helping each other as they go. Stuck together on their trip, an oddly perfect partnership. Unmoored. One small boat, yet what happens once off the shoals, amidst the swells and rolls, makes all the difference to adventurous souls. Stormy. Under a clear sky, cerulean seas stand still, hiding storms below. The lowest peak. Under the ocean, lava flows, ceaseless motion, depths reaching new heights. Giant squid. Eyes the size of dinner plates Ferocious giant squid awaits, seizes prey with a savage suctioned grip, then shreds snared flesh, strip by strip. Stingray. Swoop, billow, gliding underwater waltz. Fin tips surge and swell, rippling delicately draped skirts. Black and white hems unfurl in ebb and flow of an elegant dance. Watch out! Don't be lulled by dappled shadow, by undulating sweep, by oscillating hover. Hidden beneath the frippery lies a barbed, venomous harpoon. Sapphire of the Deep A sparkle and twinkle deep in the ocean where ripples and currents move in slow motion. What lurks below in that murky space, where fabled shipwrecks settle in place? A creature, a mermaid, a seahorse, a shell? Something submerged is casting a spell. Where could it be? Divers bubble in panic. We know for a fact this wrecks the Titanic. Not far from this spot, an oyster shuts tight, protecting its treasure with all of its might. It swaddles with velvety, silken devotion, a dazzling sapphire once lost to the ocean. Friend or enemy? If a minnow should swim by, I'll strike and sting. I won't be shy. But if a clownfish picks me clean, I'll let it hide and not be mean. Invertebrate, I am bone free. Fleshy flower of the sea. Now it's time to end our game. Have you figured out my name? 
Join us and become an ocean protector. From ocean-friendly party ideas to actions you can take to protect our oceans, our bonus pages are filled with helpful information. Let's save our oceans together. This was an extract from Friends and Anemones, a collection of ocean poems for children, written and illustrated by members of the Writer's Loft, Sherburn, Massachusetts. Available at your local bookseller or at thewritersloft.org. Just select our shop page. Order your copy today.